So welcome back to another video. Now, spark plugs, talking about naturally aspirated engines. How can we improve the engine really? How, these little things like Tesco sale, little, every little helps and all that stuff. As I've said in quite a few videos before, efficiency is key and precision is power. Every single cylinder, you get the exact amount of fuel and air and spark is the best you're going to get it. Now, how can we improve that? Well, we've got enough fuel and air in it because our airflow ratio is where we want it. How can we make that bang just a bit bigger? Well, we can try and increase the spark or get a better burn. Now, burning is when the spark plug ignites, you have um, flame propagation. So where the flame ignites, it then ignites all those fuel molecules that are in the air. It ignites one, that jumps to the next one and the next one. And then you have a, a speed of it doing that quickly as the faster it can ignite all those fuel molecules the faster the burn rate the quicker the explosion the more force can push down that cylinder now you've got things like flamethrower coils and massive 40 million um millimeter ht leads that don't fit anything properly and just look stupid you've got a good bosch coil good Bosch or Bury or very good quality HT lead and decent plugs. These ones are just demonstration plugs. Um, I use NGK plugs because they're cheap, cheerful, reliable. And with a sort of weekend toy kind of car it is, plugs you want to be doing every year minimum anyway because it gets racked around. So side gap and a spark plug. What side gapping? Well, side gap is not new. It's been around for yonks. Lowe's people done it back in the day. Um, bit loads of research on it, um, loads of papers written on it, um, and what it is, is literally side cutting the tip of a spark plug. So a spark plug, you can't see it, but you'll see it in a minute, is your normal end of the spark plug goes over on your tip, top of that, and your spark jumps across. Side gapping is literally cutting or removing that L shape on the spark plug, so the spark has a direct path to the actual electro tip. Well, yeah, but all spark plugs do that. Yes, they do. Why don't they do it for factory? Because factory is built for longevity and stuff. So I've got two in this head. One is side cut and gapped. One is normal and gapped. Now I always gap my plugs to 0 0.8 mil. Bang on with your feeler gauge. That's what you want. Again, if you haven't done these, it's pretty simple. Feeler gauges, you want to feel it through this. You want to feel Bit of friction, top and bottom, not a lot, just enough. So get those gaps right. And with the side gapping, you want the same, but you're just gapping it between the side of it. So what does this actually do? Well, it helps burn. Again, it will become clearer in here when I explain it, but lots of hydrocarbons and all that sort of good science technology stuff, um, which I won't jab on about because end up waffling a bit. Um, probably do anyway but pretty much this it does improve it it's written it's had studies on the one I was reading the other night um, I think they had a Jag V12 engine it was on a dyno and it was measured over lots of bloody stuff um, wide open throttle up to max rev limiter and measured everything come out of the exhaust from um, a stock plug pardon me to a side gap to plug and the side gapping started at 0 0.6 mil up to 1.1 mil. Now they found on this one was um, 1 mil was the best it was going to get. Um, so between 0 0.8 and 1 mil, that's the ballpark the way you want it. Obviously every engine is different. Um, but just going that 1.1 1. 1 mil more didn't have an effect. So same as you have your car on a dyno, you do the ignition timing till you get... Um, no more benefit gain so you can add two more degrees time and well you've got like half and a brake horsepower it's no point your miles knock it back to where you are so that's what sparklers do so let's have a look at these and it will become a bit clearer right so as we can see on this demonstration head ignore the black lines it's ready for porting so here we have your normal spark plug with its normal tip again just for a close-up your normal tip is like so and your side gapped is like so. So 
this is one that's been side gapped now you can see straight away the electrode is here this, but I'll show you a video in a minute and it makes it perfectly clear what happens so you can see a difference so you've got air imagine with a piston coming at the bore going towards this point here all this inside the black line is mixed up with air and fuel now you want it to ignite and burn as quick as you can to get that cylinder back down the bore as quick as it can and as efficiently as it can with as much power as it can so straight away you probably look at this and understand, ah, oh, I get you, yeah, it makes sense now. So pretty much from there and there, so say a quarter or a third of that circle is shrouded from that spark. But how do you mean it's shrouded from the spark? Well, what it is, what it is, fuel and air is in here, spark, sparks underneath here. It's not visible, it's underneath here. So the air's got compact over here and spark. So immediately this area here is open or has direct access to that spark to start molecules burning. So it starts here or this side, and then it's got to travel round these ways to the back to ignite the full mixture. Now move over to this cylinder. Again, our piston is coming up. Our air mixture is sat all over this. That sparks, boom, everywhere in the hole inside this black circle has access to that spark. And it's also more constant spark. Again, I'll show you in a video in a moment. So this is what I do to my plugs. And now you're not talking loads of brake horsepower, blah, 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 but it just adds that little extra of efficiency and burn rate. Again, you get a better burn rate more fuels being used that peak cylinder pressure after the combustion process is going to be a little bit more and again little things add up so like i say again this is what we're doing gapling now you can do this a million ways chop it off with a pair of pliers or be it more gentle uh, with a bench grinder grind it flat now on the edge of these when you do this you don't want it rounded you want any burrs take the burrs off but you want it a sharp edge because a spark is going to jump from a sharp edge. It's not going. To, it's good, if it's a rounded, smooth corner, it's got more access to go round it before it finds the point to jump. So that is side gap and a spark plug. Again, same with gapping it. We got our what we at 0.8 mil. You're gapping it between the electrode tip and the closest point on there. So that's your gap there, and obviously this side is your gap under there which I was not going to bend under there because it's underneath. So hopefully that can explain and show you what side gapping is and what benefits it can actually have from being shrouded. And obviously this portion here is a bit of a delay for it actually gets around to burning it, where this one completely open to that spark and boom, it's got such, such more capability of going bang. You suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Right, so this is a normal spark plug, and as you can see, I've slowed this right down. All those little lines, you've got multiple points where that spark can jump across, and it's very erratic, as you can see. That's that's what it's doing. And then if we jump across to one that has been side-capped, you can see there it has got one perfect straight line, constant, even spark jump. So there you go, that is a side gap and a spark plug and why it's done. Um, like seen from what we've actually looked at, when you look on the cylinder head, it's, it's so clear to see how the improvement can be made on that, um, the flame front. And like I say, look in the video, you can see how a stock spark plug, yeah, it gets a good spark, but it's so erratic because the spark can just pick whatever point it wants to jump across. A lot of variation where with the side one, you could, boom, it's a constant that's where the sparks go and it just goes there so it's a stronger spark um there you go another little video just to help people out that's what i'm gonna run on my car i have done before i'm gonna change these plugs because it's time for some new ones anyway again ngk plugs what i use but all the ones are the same to be honest so um yeah that's side gapping plugs hope that was um helpful and um gives that bit more to gain that bit more in your engine making it more efficient making it more usable and more lively so anyway, i'll see you in the next one Cheers for watching. Bye.